Hi, I'm Melissa DeVore with Bionic Buzz, and we're at the Academy of LA on the red carpet this evening for the after party at the Emmys. Just because the awards are over does not mean the party stops. Check out Bionic Buzz and our celebrations at the Academy of LA and our interviews. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with... Hi, Reza Diaco. How are you doing? Pleasure to meet you, Reza Diaco. And you have a movie coming out, is that right? Yes, I do. I have a couple. I've got Reading Lolita and Astronaut coming out, so... Yeah, well, keep your eyes open. And your new one you're on right now is The Chosen, is that right? That's right, that's right. We just uh, wrapped filming season five, so pretty exhausted, but what a way to celebrate, so. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you excited about this after Emmy celebration? 100%, can't wait. Are you excited? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah ready to party. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> thanks. Oh my gosh, happy Emmys. Yeah, exactly. Hi, I'm here with the Jay Rodriguez. Hi. Brothers and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Not and Curb, but uh, Bros uh, and, and Queer Eye. But 20 years ago, yes. 20 years ago, two days ago, I won my first Emmy. And it was for the first all out gay cast in network history, Queer Eye. And it's wild how much the world has shifted in a positive direction where many different stories and many humans who never saw themselves reflected, their stories are being told. And I'm, I'm here honoring them and I'm just excited about you know, just being able to turn on the TV and for kids like me who grew up and didn't see themselves in entertainment or on camera, now can. And you won an Emmy yes. for, for that. You yes, did. Yes, I am an Emmy Award. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an amazing thing because tonight there were so many LGBTQ plus folks who were nominated, who were creatives. Uh, we had an incredible showrunner honored tonight who's been an incredible storyteller, not just for our stories, but included our stories in his projects. And I think there's something marvelous about like kind of painting a fuller and deeper tapestry of what the human experience feels like. I want to watch cinema and feel like it's a world in which is forward thinking and actually depicts like the world we live in. We're all so different, but like our differences are what um, kind of excite me about learning about a different kind of person or culture. And to highlight the message of Queer Eye to bring it back, we're all a lot more alike than we are different. And it's those similarities in times like this, especially in such severe political discord, we'll remember we're all humans after a lot of the same things and the same core things we share. And finding that commonality, I think people in this sphere of, of television, they have a, a profound duty, and that's to reflect the human experience to make us all feel more connected. Absolutely, and you know what? And you, I, I, we have to comment on this. Thank this you. just jacket. The it's theme like, tonight was dream and gold, and so I got the memo. Yeah. And, and you did it. You're pulling it off very you. well. You too. She's got. She's giving gold shadow. Beautiful black. There's even a shimmer on the decolletage. <laughs> so you look beautiful. Well, I'm glad you're Are you approved. excited? I'm like I'm, one of the first. Tonight's gonna be. I saw the confirmed cast list. Yes. Viewers at home, so you don't know this, but they, people on the carpet get things like this. Doesn't matter what carpet it is, they all have this, so they know who they're talking to. It says like their name, their headshot, and like where they're from. Yeah. I'm at the beginning, so like what you're about to experience is gonna be epic. Like you're gonna meet some of the biggest stars in the world, and they're great, but it's a humbling, it's post show. So it's gonna be a lot of people that maybe won something. A lot of folks you might need to give a hug to. Yeah, Maybe they it's didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's giving that. But the truth is, like, it's just an honor to be nominated and to be celebrated. And, and like I said earlier, as entertainers, we just try to reflect the human experience. And if it helps someone feel seen, it's all worth it. Absolutely. And where do we find you on social media? Because we want to learn more yes. about you and check you out. At J.A.I. Rodriguez on all platforms. Okay. J.A.I. Rodriguez yes. on all platforms. Thank we'll you so much. Check you out. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, you're giving me name Jennifer with a G Gross. And David Gross. And you two were both on Curb Your Enthusiasm, all right? We were idea contributors on it. We're writers, we're a writing team, and so that was a dream come true to have a small part of such a, a legendary TV series. Yeah, it was an amazing show with Larry David and the cast. and. 
you know, and he, it's kind of like what you like what you were thinking, but you're not really want to say. Yes, <laughs> yes, and a lot of things that happen to us, we always say, are very curb esque, and so it's a it's a really relatable show, and he really takes kind of all those little nuances of human behavior and brings it to light, and you go, aha, yes, that's exactly what it's like, and so it's, it's a very cool yeah. show. Yes, I mean, it's like you said, he's kind of like everyone's personal hero who says the things that we all want to say, but we d we're a little too polite to do so yeah. most of the time. Yeah. 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 Did you guys pull any fr experience from your personal life, like anything that like made it onto the show? <laughs> yeah, yes, well, it, we are uh, big margarita drinkers, and so uh, one time I was sitting on the couch holding a margarita, as I often do, and David plopped down beside me and uh, did what I call a full plop, and I said, when someone's holding a, a drink, you can't do a full plop next to them, and so that was the kernel of an idea that uh, ended up in uh, episode one of season 11, when Susie plops down next to Larry and causes him to spill the red wine, and so that's uh, our little... Our little uh, contribution to uh, to the series. A lot of uh, our dream wouldn't have come true of working in the smallest of ways with Larry without margaritas. So I feel like people don't talk about what margaritas can bring to your life. And it's, uh, <laughs> it, 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 yes, it, it, that's really the, that's the that's the uh, lesson. Please drink as much and as often as you can with the people you love responsibly, of course. <laughs> safe, safe, safe on, on the couch. Right? On the couch. So your margarita was inspiration. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Which you were upset at the time, it made it onto TV. Exactly, and so, yeah. Yeah, it's, our, it's our main claim to fame, and hopefully <laughs> it'll be the beginning of something even greater. Yeah. So where do we check you guys out? Do you have a social media handle? We to look for upcoming things? At Jennifer with a G everywhere, that's G-E-N-N-E-F-E-R, and David is David Gross TV, so we are highly findable online. How's it going? Um, good. I'm Jay. Hi, Jay. Nice to meet you. I, 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 I don't know. We'll see what happens. But like, yeah, I'm a film I producer a based in New York. It's 20 years after uh, I won my first Emmy, so okay. uh, the night's yeah. just beginning. Okay, great. Now, will we get you? Are you going to be Ready? Hi, I'm Melissa Bionic Buzz, and I'm here with... Jake Casey. Jake Casey, and you're a film producer, is that correct? That is correct. Can you tell us what you're working on? Uh, a bunch of different stuff. Uh, got a lot of different films that are out in the world right now. Uh, that are being shot currently and uh, that we're in development on. Is there any names you could tell us or is it like an NDA sort of deal? Uh, there's there's some NDAs, but the ones that are out in the world you can check out are Desire Lines, Egghead and Twinkie, um, Stronghold, uh, and uh, we just announced a new movie called Blue Balls, which is a fun one. Yeah. The title alone sounds fun. It is. It is. It's about vampires. It's super gay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so a gay vampire film. Yeah. That's, I mean, vampires are gay, gay, right? I heard that. I heard that's what that was. They. I mean, they're. This movie, I think, is really. It's a fun exploration of a lot of different stuff. So I'm excited for everybody to see it. Okay, and where do we check your movie out at? You can see them online, uh, coming to SVOD platform soon. So, yeah, Netflix, Hulu, and etc. Well, we be sure to check out, and where do we find you online so we can check out more about your movies? Uh, you can follow my company, The Daisy Phase, at The Daisy Phase uh, on Instagram, and uh, myself, Jake, uh, Jake D. Casey, uh, on Instagram. I'm doing amazing. Thank you. I'm here with Ray Hanjalali. I'm Ray Hanjalali. What are you promoting this evening? Um, I'm making two movies, and I've also got a TV series coming out on Netflix. So, uh, kind of promoting that. I just came from the Emmys. Amazing show. Uh, had a blast, and uh, congratulations to all the winners. Can you tell us the name of your shows? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, okay, we're we'll okay. Yeah. We'll look for them. Oh, so, you'll see them. Okay, we're gonna look now. Can we find you so that we can later link to your show so we know what to look for? Can you give us that social media handle? Absolutely. At Six Pack Diet Plan, S I X. Yeah, hi, Melissa with Bionic Buzz, and I'm here with Lawrence Zarian. And Lawrence, and you worked with Kelly Clarkson, is that right? I'm actually on the Kelly Clarkson show. We just started our season six, filming in New York City at Rockefeller Center. Oh, that must be really exciting. That's the best. Look, anything Kelly Clarkson touches is amazing. She truly is my favorite kind of high. <laughs> and what can, we, what can we expect to see on the Kelly Clarkson show coming up? Well, here's the thing. That's why you have to tune in, because every season, every year, she does something different. But the one thing the fans always love is Kelly Oki. It's when she sings some of your favorite songs with some of the biggest, brightest talent. Oh, 
That sounds fabulous. And where can we learn more about you? Oh, you can just follow me on Instagram, at Lawrence Jarian. Um, listen, I'm here with... Jemai Yusa. Jemai Lisa, you've got... So, what, what do you got going on? So, sorry, can you repeat that? So what do you have going on? That You're like an actress? You're a I'm a writer and a director working on a film called Coco Doll that we're hoping to shoot next year. Three, oh, that's two, great. One. Can you tell us more about your, what, the concept of your film? Yeah, so Coco Doll is a horror film that's about a young black woman who goes to work for a rich white family and discovers they're hiding some secrets in their house. <laughs> yeah. That sounds really exciting. Weren't you, and you've been involved in a lot of horror sci-fi, is that right? Yes, I'm all about horror, sci-fi, fantasy, live action as well as animation. Yeah. And where do we find you on social media? At I am Jamai, that's I A M J U M A I I. It's two eyes on the end. <laughs> okay, well, we'll look out for you and good luck with your film. Thank you so much. Amazing filmmakers, uh, Filippo and Jonathan Alea and uh, Alia, and just a lot of stuff. Wow. But you have, a, you have the Vers you're like the Versace movie, right? Yes, I directed The Genius of Johnny Versace Alive which is playing at the Palm Springs Film Festival this Thursday. So I'm really excited about that. It's available on Amazon Prime. And then Elizabeth and I are in a film together called Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills Christmas too. And we're yeah. going to hopefully do some more films very yeah, soon. Yeah, more, more content. Um, hopefully we're going to be producing more in the next few quarters. Yeah. That sounds fabulous. And Vincent, where do we check you out? And as well as Elizabeth. We can... uh, certainly. I'm Vincent Paul 12 on Instagram. Elizabeth Webster, NYC. On it. We look forward to seeing more of both of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so I much. really thank appreciate you. that. Thank you. And I'm here with Artrice Johnson. And you are, uh, you've got Million Dollar um, Fight Night, the Million Dollar Heist on Peacock. Peacock. That sounds really exciting. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So, Fight Night is basically about this man who throws a party after the big Ali fight that happens in Atlanta in 1970 and everyone at the party gets robbed. And I don't want to say too much. No, 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 no spoilers, yeah. but it sounds exciting. Yes. It's so, it's such a, it's a high, so it's, you know, high spirit, high energy, uh, action, it's great. A lot of big time names, Taraji P. Henson, Terrence Howard, Kevin Hart, Samuel L. Jackson, and so many more. Well, that sounds like a great cast. Yeah. And how's it to be a part of it? Any exciting things happen on the cast? I mean, that's a really... Oh my God, it was so fun filming. Like, we were all just like a big family. Um, we filmed out in Atlanta. It was so fun to film. It, I, I, it felt like I was watching a master class because everyone was, you know, these big names in this industry. And just their acting is just so amazing. So... Sounds, sounds amazing. Very exciting. And tell us where we see it again. Check out the show again. Um, it's called Fight Night, the Million Dollar Heist on Peacock. Four episodes are all up right now. We have four more to go. And can you um, tell us where we find you so we can check more about you? Yes, you can find me on Instagram at Artrice Johnson. That is A R T R E C E J O H N S O N. Hello, I'm Melissa Bionic Buzz, and I'm here with the fabulous Jan Trin. Hi, how are you? And I understand you were on The Bachelorette and now Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I mean, it's been a whirlwind, honestly. Like, Dancing with the Stars was so last minute. Like, it just kind of happened, and I'm, I couldn't be more grateful. Like, I'm so excited to be on it. I've always wanted to learn how to dance, and it's been a crazy experience. Like, I'm actually, like, relearning how to walk as a dancer, which is, like, crazy. <laughs> but it's been really fun. And how was it like being on The Bachelorette? We need, I, we need, we need the scoop. It's been fun. I mean, it, I, you know, it didn't end the way that I wanted it to, but I'm so grateful for the lessons that I've learned. And just, I think I'm going to be so much more intentional when I'm dating now because truly the show opens you up to so much and allows you to really understand who you are as a person and what you want in a relationship. And then it led to you to be on Dancing with the Stars. So what is the, how long does it take to prep for Dancing with the Stars? Oh my god, I don't know. I came in a little late, you know, like everything was a whirlwind and everybody had been in rehearsals for a couple days, so I was a little late. But, I mean, the prep, honestly, is stretching. I feel like an old lady, I think I blew out a hip the other day. <laughs> so the stretching is key, stretch, stretch, stretch. So. 
That's fabulous. And uh, um, so we look forward to seeing you on it. And when, you, when is your episode going to air? So the first night one is on Tuesday. So in two days? Oh, my God. It's in two days. I'm nervous but excited. Good luck. And where do we find you on social media? Um, on Instagram, at, I'm at Jen Tran. On TikTok, I'm at Jen Tran X. Um, and yeah, that's all the social media that I have. Well, we look forward to it. We look forward to you on Dancing with the Stars. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm here with Traylon Newsom. And Jalen, so can you tell me what you're working on? The English Teacher. It's a very popular show. FX, Hulu, Disney Plus. It just came out. It's a lot of buzz around it. I'm excited for it. What's the premise of the English Teacher? It's about it's about a high school teacher ba battling the like comings of like like the um how do I say this? The best like how do I say this? Like the um. I don't know how to say it, but like the, the realness of like the high schools and how they, they, they collide with each other in like real terms. I don't know how to say it for real, but it's a, it's a good show. You should check it out. I'm not going to lie. And where do we find the show? Hulu, Disney Plus, and FX. Okay, great. And where do we find you on social media? Instagram. I'm Traylon. You should follow me. I also make music on all platforms. You check me out. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and can, you spell your, can you spell your Instagram? I-M-T-R-E-Y-L-A-N. <laughs> not Instagram. You're, no, not you, you're, you're, where we find you on Instagram. Where do we find me on Instagram? So where do you find me on Instagram? Yes, where's your handle? Where's your social media? I want to check you out. I want to learn more about you. You're like got this fabulous outfit on tonight. You're celebrating the Emmy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here, you know what I mean? I've been invited out from my agent, and I was um, on a TV show, and it's really doing pretty good right now, and I'm excited to be out here. My name is Shayla Newton, though. You should find me. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, well, we'll look for you. Thanks so much. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? Are you having fun yes. tonight? Look at this gorgeous gown you have on. And I'm here with... I am Jimbo, Ru winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 8. And what, who am I with with you? <laughs> I'm Melissa with Bionic Buzz, and you are you are like the clown of drag queens. Is that right? That's right. Jimbo the drag clown. <laughs> I like making people laugh and being a wacko. <laughs> you are very funny. Oh, you're so sweet. Very funny looking. <laughs> oh, we, she's beckoning us closer. Yes. Uh, I feel like I'm towering over you. you, you are, <laughs> that's right. Uh, we are not in Oz anymore. <laughs> uh, well, it is so hot in here. Oh my God. Sorry about the Emmys? I am. What a fun ceremony acknowledging all the hard work of so many creatives, and it's just incredible and so inspiring. I hope to be an Emmy nominee and winner one day myself. <laughs> well, best of luck to you, Jimbo. Jimbo, Jimbo. And where can you find me on social media? You can find me at Jimbo the Drag Clown on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you. We look forward to, we look forward to seeing it. And thank you so much. Thanks, darling. Happy Emmys. You too. Thank you. Jimbo, so what do you have got going on? I am part of a fantastic show called Cobra Kai, and I'm just here enjoying the night. Not here for too long, but yeah, just enjoying. Cobra Kai is a wonderful show. Yeah, it's really fun. It is. It's a family show. That's my favorite thing about it. Uh, it's part of the Karate Kid saga, and it's just a really beautiful show. We said goodbye to it this year, series wrap. So yeah, just enjoying all the good things, and it's just time to celebrate. Are you excited about this after Emmy celebration? Yeah, I am. I'm just excited to celebrate all my fellow actors and people behind the camera as well, doing their thing, telling stories, and you know, it's time to celebrate, so here we are. And where do we find you on social media? I'm most active on Instagram, and I'm at very v Ness. I'll look for you there. And he's a detective, and I play another detective in the department. That sounds really exciting. Now, who, and who else is on your show with you? Aldous Hodge. Are you familiar with him? Very attractive and talented man. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people be looking forward to that. It's based on a book, right? Is that correct? It's a series of books by James Patterson. There have been a few um, movies about it. Uh, who played it? Uh, Tyler Perry was in one. Um, who else? There were a couple of others. Uh, Morgan Freeman played the character a couple of times. It was pretty cool. And now we finally got a TV series yes. with you as a detective. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about it. It's really fabulous. And where, where do we see the series again? Amazon. 
November 14th it's coming out. So please watch. Definitely <laughs> check it out. And where's your social media handle? Stacy Greenwell. That's Stacy with an I E Greenwell. Check me out. <laughs> yeah, we'll check, well, yeah, we should all check you out. And you do look lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Tonight. Hi, honey. Hi. What's your name? I'm good. Melissa. Melissa, I'm Joey. Very nice to meet very you. Very nice to meet you, Joey. So, what are we talking about tonight, okay. Melissa? We're talking about you. About me? Okay. Can you give me your first and last name, Joey? My name's Joey Sasso. You might know me from The Circle, Perfect Match, The Goat, but you might know me from Young Lion of the West, streaming right now on Amazon and Tubi, baby. Go check that out. Now tell us what that's about. Why do, why, tell us why we should check it out. So I started this film when I was 18 years old with my partner Josh. I moved here from Rochester, didn't know a single person to be an actor. And it take, took us 12 years to get it to this point. It finally came out. The reception has been so overwhelmingly positive. With making a name for myself with reality television, I've never tried to put that down. But I, I'm an actor. That's my love. So to be in a place in my career right now where... You could do reality, you could do scripted. It's making the future be very unexpected, but very bright at the same time. Tell us a little bit more about your premise for your reality show. So I won season one of The Circle on Netflix. I think we were Netflix's first ever reality show at that point. We sort of predicted COVID before COVID. We were all locked down. It's wild because it's always the things in life that you never think are gonna do something, do something. I was like, you know what? I was a bartender out here in LA. The show came up and I was like, going overseas for a month and not slinging drinks? Why not? I'm not going to be on this thing or win this thing. And then I ended up winning, had no idea it would be as big as it is and changed my life. I think actually season seven just came out of the show. So it's going strong and the Netflix family is continuing to grow. It's a blessing. That's fabulous. And where do we check you out? You can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. You already know. Search for your boy, Joey Sasso. Shoot me a DM. Let's stay in touch. Absolutely. Thank you, Joey Sasso. Thank you so much, you. honey. It was so nice to meet you. Nice Have a beautiful you. rest you of your too. night. You guys are both on the show Too Hot to Handle. handle. Just like the lights today. Absolutely. Hot. I know. Look, you guys are like practically, did you color coordinate it on purpose? He did. You know, he made the trip from, uh, from New Jersey or, well, from Philly. Yeah, and he said, I, I want to walk a red carpet. I said, well, let's do it. I'll show you how, I'll show you how to do it. You know? So he's like, what are we going to wear? He got me this, though. It was very nice. But I got him this. It's a little touch. You know, you got to add the, you gotta add the touch to the little splash. You got to make sure the red carpet was too hot to handle. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. You color coordinated together. You look gorgeous tonight. Oh, my gosh. You should what be getting your picture taken. What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing what I got out of my closet. Yeah, I know. You're, <laughs> you're rocking it. Mix it yeah. yeah. Awesome. But, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here tonight, you know. Be here with a lot of people, you know, that have done incredible things in their in their futures, well, in their careers so far. So, too hot to handle, which um, is like a bunch of like twenty-something-year-olds. Not to, anymore. Well, try to at the time. Yeah, too hot to handle was filmed five and a half years ago for us. Isn't that crazy? The first season ever. Yeah. Now we're in our thirties. You believe that? No. It's all right. We don't look it. We don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was, you know. A bunch of horny people put on the island to learn boundaries, and yeah. unfortunately, I didn't learn any boundaries. You know what? It, it, it I led didn't me learn. to the love of my life, though, who's back there right now. Look at that. It's my girlfriend. And back unfortunately, there. Girlfriend. I am still single. <laughs> I'm still single. Still single, so. ladies. Yeah, so, so you're, you're the one like, okay, you're off limits. Yes. Because you brought your girlfriend to the Emmys. I do, I do. But, ladies, he's still available. Woo! Yeah. They can double up. Yeah. Show them the double abs. Up. Double up. Show them the abs. Double up. Show them the abs. Hello, ladies. What you really fun? Yeah. Yeah. A little hot. A little hot. Too hot to handle. Uh, too, too hot. Too hot, yeah, too hot to handle. Still too hot to handle. Still too hot to handle. <laughs> Putting out, yep. Starting start fires. Where do we find you guys both on social media? Um, You can find me at Sharon Townsend Official on Instagram. Do you want my, would you like my OnlyFans account as well? Wow. <laughs> Everyone does now. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Give it to OnlyFans. No, and OnlyFans at Sharon Townsend. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I don't have OnlyFans, but you can find me at, at Bryce Hirschberg. And keep your eye out because I got this Raver and exclusive. I have a new feature film coming out called Jackalope. It's uh, just wrapped filming. So check out for the movie starring Bryce Hirschberg coming out soon, too. I'll be looking for your movie. That is fabulous. Congratulations. Thank you so What's much. What's your movie coming out? Sometime early next year. Okay. I'll give, you, I'll, give you the first, I'll give you the first heads up for it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you both, gentlemen. Thank right. you. Thank you. Stay blessed. Good. How are you? My favorite doll. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I'm here with 
Sai Saman. Sai Saman, what are you promoting this evening? Well, I'm all about promoting fashion and also to go have fun and after party for Emmy Awards. Uh, a lot of incredible Series 1 Emmys tonight and we're here to celebrate that. And you've got the memo, you've got the gold and the black on it. I am, I know. And you, and you followed it. Yes, thank you so much. That's, that's my job as a celebrity designer. I have to be ahead of the gay game. And who do you dress? Like, um, there are a couple that have dressed uh, Jimmy John Lewis and TJ Miller and stuff, but then there has been a lot of uh, more celebrities who basically are at the Venice uh, Film Festival. So unfortunately, a few of the actors are not being able to walk for the Emmys, but maybe next season. Uh, who, who particularly, like, who, it, what, yeah, yeah, who's pretty your favorite and, and what, what, uh, you checked out the Emmy fashion, you're a favorite, what did they... Who's your favorite on the red carpet this evening? Well, I really loved Selena Gomez. That is really complimented her figure. And it was like black with a nice embellishment of like diamond studs embroidered on her dress. And she looked fabulous. And I loved the way when they were presenting the award, the, the comedy that they brought into the stage and made everybody laugh is like amazing. Well, that's fun. And you look amazing. And where do we find you on Instagram? You can follow me on Sai Suman Kotiar. Well, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure talking to you.